Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and an intriguing puzzle today. Apparently this is a reasonably approachable between lines Sudoku and that may surprise those of you who've been looking at uh, puzzle 18, I think it is, in Jovial's Sudoku Relay in uh, on Patreon, which was the July reward puzzle. So there, there is a it's a very approachable series, but there's a couple of puzzles, the anti-night and the between lines for me were definitely the hardest. So we'll see if this turns out to be approachable. Now, um, do check out Patreon for that. And of course, the murder mystery, which uh, the closing date is the 31st of July. The closing date for the jovial um, relay is the 20th. And we will be drawing a winner from the hat for each of those. Obviously, you can play our apps, which are very reasonably priced in the description field. Uh, check out our merchandise as well, as always. And um, there's the Discord server too. Anyway, all of those links are under the video, as is the link for this puzzle. Now, what's going on here? This is Bill Murphy, our Australian friend, who has sent this in. And um, it's a mix of Little Killer and Between Lines. So the Little Killer stuff, first of all, these um, marked diagonals add up to the sum given, and they can contain repeat digits. Now, what can also contain repeat digits are these lines. So look for the coloured lines, and the digits on them must lie between, arithmetically, the digits in the circles connected. So... If you had, say, two and nine in those circles, then these digits would have to be between three and eight. Now, they don't have to be the digits three to eight, because as I said, they can contain repeats. And I think we're going to have to watch out for not... I'm going to have to watch out for not interpreting this as a straight line, which it's not. The purple line curls round. The yellow line curls round. That was a much better attempt. The blue line, you know, they're obviously all symmetrical. They curl round. Anyway, that's how this puzzle works. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Do give it a try on the link under the video, and we may all learn something about between lines Sudoku today. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's let's get cracking and give it a try. Um, so, ah, well, this 15 is absolutely vital. That... The way you can make up 15 in two digits in the same box is either 6, 9 or 7, 8. Now, 7, 8 clearly wouldn't work because there are no digits between 7 and 8. So that has to be 6 and 9. It actually is a bit surprising to me that this does work. But every other digit on the purple line has to be 7 or 8. And look, that does work. You've only got two of them in box 1, two of them in row three, for instance, two in row four. Obviously, this is going to work. And we've got a symmetrical sort of thing going on with the fives. We can't put two, three in there. So we're going to have to put one, four, and two, three on every blue line cell. Now what do we do? I don't think these are quite as helpful because obviously this 11 could be two, nine, or three, eight, or four. Four, seven. No, hang on though. If it was three, eight, what's that digit going to be? Two or three won't work. So actually, yes, this is two, nine. And that's, well, we don't know, but this has to be a three. And that's going to sort out, I think, all our two, three pairs. Yeah, look, we've got that whole blue line disambiguated there. Um, and this 9 can't be 4, 5, obviously. You couldn't get any cells on the green line. And in fact, we've got to get a 2 on it now. So this is a 1, 8 pair. And that means this cell is a 7. Because it can't be 8 anymore, because it has to be between 1 and 8. Oh, it's very nice. That really is a lovely beginning to the puzzle. So we get the whole 7, 8 line determined. Look, we have a triple 8 there, triple 3 there, and so on. That's really very neat. Um, now, we haven't used these four cell little killer clues, and they don't look. This is 10, and we've already got five on it. So these two are, ah, they could in theory be a two and a three to make up the other five, but obviously that's going to clash either with row six 
or column six. So we're going to have to use a one and a four. Uh, that is the only way to make it up. Now that column, could, uh, sorry, that diagonal could have contained repeats, but it turns out it doesn't. So this 30, is it going to be the same deal? Yes. We can't put 7, 8 on the end, so we do 6, 9. It's very, very symmetrical, this puzzle. And now we've got a 6, 9 pair in the top row, so we know how the 2, 9 shake down. Uh, we must have something in the bottom row, or 1, 4 pair. They tell you how the 8, 1 resolve. Obviously, if that's a 1 and a 4 in those cells, we can't have a 1 here as well. Um, now, these are a lot less helpful. They can be anything from 2 to 7. And these can be anything from 3 to 8. So they're not as useful to us in our quest. Um, what can we do next? I don't know. These, This 6 and 9 are different to make up this 30 total. So this cell is looked at by all of 6, 9, 8, 7, 2 and 3. So that is 1, 4, or 5. This one sees 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, and 7. I don't know. Can we do anything with this 13? It doesn't look very promising. I suppose... I don't know. The minimums are one, a 1, 3 pair. No, they can't be 3. So a 1, 4 pair. And then another, ah, oh, that can't be a 1, but it could be a 2. It can't be a 1 because there's a 1, 4 pair looking up at it. These are quite interesting. That sees a 1, 4 pair, a 2, 9 pair, and an 8, 7 pair. But it's not on the diagonal. This, this however, sees 1, 4, 9, 8, and 7. Maybe it's worth trying to see... Three, eight, and seven. Two, nine, eight. Oh, sorry, that nine is fixing this. I hadn't seen that. Six and nine are resolved there. That one scans all the way across to there. So actually, these one, four pairs are resolved. So are these six nines. Um, hmm, does that give me something more than ah, oh, two and two? So we can place two. Then we get a 2 in one of those cells. So what do we get? 8 and 8. We can place 8 here. 2, 8, 4, 3, 6 in one of those. Not 5, 6. Um, 3 and 3. So we can make that a 3. And this must be a 7 by the same effect. 8 is in one of those two. Ah, oh, 2 and 2. Right. 2 there means that 2 in this box is in one of those three cells. That means one of these threes are 2, but we can see 2 of those where it isn't. So this is a 2, and that is on this diagonal. It's not maybe the most helpful. Um, let's just sketch in the possibilities. 1, 4, 5, 7. So... These two have to add up to at least 5. Plus 2 there is 7. So this can't be a 7. If that was a 1, then these two add up to 10 and would be 4, 6. Oh, there cannot be a 1 on these because they're both on the between line. I'm sorry. Right. So that is how it works. This is a 1. That pair adds up to 10 and must be 4, 6. You can't have 5, 5, obviously. So actually, that's very helpful. Let's see if we can replicate this down here. So here, 6, 2, 8, 7, 4, 1, 9, 5, or 3. This one, 4, 5, or 8. Then on the line, and let's remember, we can't use 1, 8, or 9 because they're on the between line. So 7, 6 is the most they could be. And in fact, they can't have a 7 because there are 7s looking down at both cells. So um, let's put in 6, 5, and 4. 9 and 8 there. 
And since they can't each be the number below, that's exactly what they are. 9 and 8, there is 17. These two do add up to 10. They are 6, 4 as well. Do we not know the order? Did I not? Was I right in knowing it here? Yes, because I had that 6. Yes, we do know the order because I've got that 4. There is a beautiful symmetry all over this puzzle, of course. So, that is all the little killer clues completed. We've got almost all the between lines completed. So we've just got those. It can't be 8, 2, 3, 7, 1, or 6. And it can't be 9 because of the between lines. So that's 4 or 5. This can see 6, 2, 8, 7, 9, 4, and 3. And the 1, it obviously can't be for the between lines. So that is a 5. Um, so let's do the same up here. That is 9 or 5. Can't be 9 for the between line. This is 1, 5 or 6, but it can't be 1. So 5 or 6, which is analogous with that. So that's all right. Right, and now the rest should be basic um, classic Sudoku, I suppose. That is a naked single 3. Four and one can be filled in. This must be a naked single seven. Then we've got six and nine to place, and we can do that. Central cell, unsurprisingly, in a puzzle like this, is a five due to the symmetry going on everywhere. Now let's just have a look at column two. That is a five because it sees every other digit. Naked single, one there now. Similarly, after that, two and six are resolved. So 9 there, 7, 5, 4, and 8. We get a 3 here. There's a 4, 9 pair. They are resolved. Down here, there's a 1, 6 pair. And they are resolved. This has been really... Once you, once you get through the beginning, and that wasn't too hard, the rest of this is pretty straightforward. Really nice fun puzzle. So 2, 3 pair to go in there. Five, seven pair to go in there. Um, that has become a three because of the five in the box. One must go there and we end up with a seven, eight pair at the top matched by a three, five pair on the left. This is now a two, four pair. I hope these are all going to get disambiguated. Oh, that has been five and five there. Right, that sorts out those. These are resolved by the five as well. And they are picking up all of the pairs that we had left in columns one, three, seven, and nine. So there we go. Oh, eight, seven. That is a six. That's an eight. Four cells to go. Nine, six. Keep mistyping. Four and one. And that is the solution to a really nice, it's a sort of introductory between lines puzzle. Very clever, um, very just a very neat way in and really, really elegantly symmetric throughout. I think this is one of those puzzles where every digit plus its rotationally opposite partner adds up to 10, um, which they often make for wonderful puzzles and uh, Bill has exploited that to the full. Really nice puzzle. Thank you, as always, for trying it and for watching us on the channel. And we hope to see you again tomorrow for more Sudoku. Bye for now.